What's up guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I had to think about that for a second. Um, so today we are we just meandering around the farm. So we got some new implements for our tractors. We got a windrower here. We're hooked up to our tether right now. There's our baler. And we've got a wrapper. We do not have any animals yet, but we're going to transport this stuff to the, the farm. So I still, I still am not 100% sure where we're going with this farm. Um, I just don't know. I've, I've made some changes. I'll show you. I've made some. I've made some improvements. I believe there are improvements on the farm. I'll show you when we get down there. Playing with the tether here. So I got the tether first because I'm getting all of the implements that I can use in order so I don't have to get them all to the farm right away. I did, oh, I also bought a mower. I bought a chipper as well, but as luck would have it, I don't have a tractor big enough to run the chipper. So. I have a chipper I can't run, which is very inconvenient, if you will. Do you guys like the uh, the camera right here? Do Do you guys like the you know the little thing in the corner, or should we have it like that, where we don't have it? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I'm very interested to uh, see what people you know, like and dislike in uh, my videos. We'll play without it for those of you that are just joining us that have never seen me play without it. So as you can see here, I have tied these two fields together. So that's kind of a, a thing. Gives me a little bit more to play with. So we need to, uh, I think we need to get a forklift on the farm. I don't, I don't think the one up at the store is really doing us much justice. I really like this little Fiat 1300. It's a, uh, Cool little, cool little tractor. Can't do a whole bunch, but cool little tractor, none the same. Nonetheless, none the same. What is that? I have not been posting regularly lately. Um, I actually just posted an American Truck Simulator yesterday that I recorded like, oh god, it was over a week ago. Um, no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was right at about a week ago. Um, so check that out. Hey, I've just been really busy doing, been doing some remodel work, refinancing, all that stuff. So that's, that's why I have not been recording. And... My speaker system died, which reminds me, my wife is out shopping right now and she's going to stop by and look at new speaker systems for me, so I need to keep my, keep my phone at the ready, because I'm going to be getting a text message 
with some options. Um, so yeah, what happened actually just yesterday, I, I've got a thousand watt surround sound on my computer. And just yesterday it started, it, it's a, uh, I think it's a launch attack, I think. No, it's not. A, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure what it is to be honest. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just yesterday, I started getting this horrid buzzing sound coming out of the speakers. And, and, and it sounded like the subwoofer was blown. Because every time there was like a little bit of bass, like someone talking with a deep voice, it would just, this weird buzzing sound. Um, so for the time being, I just unplugged the subwoofer. It, 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 it just got so irritating, I unplugged it. And then I noticed the sound was also coming out of all the other speakers, and it really didn't matter what where the volume was. So, all things being what they are, I fooled with it for a little while. I looked into some RF interference. I couldn't find anything that appeared to be interfering with it. So I grabbed a spare, just non-powered USB speakers that I had. Uh, well, they get power from the USB. And uh, they plug into the audio port. I plugged them into the same audio port and everything, and the uh, problem went away. So it sounds like maybe the amplifier might have been going out. I'm not 100% sure. I did a little bit of reading, a little bit of research, and um, I'm not really an audio person. I just know the speakers I have now sound like crap. And since the wife is in town, she's uh, looking for some new ones. I'm sure we won't get what we had, but uh, probably not even close to equivalent, but anything's got to be better than what I got now, so yeah. So this now is a wind rower. For those of you that don't know what a wind rower is, you unfold it, you drop it, and it wind your rows, I guess you could say. Uh, what it does, it picks everything up. and. Um, puts it in a nice neat row so you can bail it easier basically. I have not yet found a way to implement animals very good on this map. Um, I started a new profile with a whole bunch of um, money. 10 million dollars to be exact cleared a bunch of land and I the the only place I found I'll show you is field one and two if I clear field one and two level all of that then that's good enough for animals but it's on the other side of the map from the farm and it's like a lot of money to clear it so excuse me so i don't like that i'd like them to be closer but i just i don't know we'll have to work on that another time i guess I had to fast forward some of this.
Alright, there we have it. That was fairly painless. So where did I leave my... I think I left it up at the other field. Yep, there she is. Okay. It's time to get some planting done. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> the only real drag with uh, the, the field that I, um, you know, tied together is it takes a lot longer to seed, harvest. I mean, it's not that much longer than doing both of them before, but it is definitely a job. So let's go get some planting done. See what we can't figure out. Start up on that upper field. Bump. You can see I've already mowed some of this here. Nothing compared to that that field up top that we just left though. That thing takes forever to get planted, harvested, tilled, anything. It just takes forever. Let's see if we can keep her on cruise and just catch the bottom end of it from here. Nope. I mean, we can, but not leaving it on cruise the whole time. Glamorin' farming. We're doing pretty good for ourselves, though. I, I, I have a goal to keep $100,000 in the bank at all times, and we got 148462 right now. It's 
probably the one reason why I don't buy a forklift for the farm because that would bring us really close to what we want to keep on hand. I can go up a little bit, maybe. So one bad part about this cedar is you have to overlap so much or you end up just missing strips in the field and you don't want to miss strips in the field. It's just, you waste your time, waste my time, waste your time. We don't want to waste anybody's time. I cannot wait to buy a bigger tractor and be able to do this stuff so much more efficiently. Bigger cedar as well. Oh, and get into cotton and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I can't wait. See if we could do it that way, maybe. And not miss any. Actually, we're wasting seed. Might have missed a little spot down there too. Tell if that's tire mark. It looks like it's just tire marks. Oh, and it's raining. It's all right. I would only be concerned if we were harvesting right now, because that would be like the end of the video. But we're not harvesting, so we're all good. Shop I built. Actually, the rain's good. We 
need the rain. We also need the light. I gotta kind of watch what I'm doing because um, I need to be able to fertilize and uh, weed as well. And we're set on a time scale of 15 right now, so. So we're not gonna be able to like move on to the next field really until this one's done. Um, because I, I bet before I finish this one, it'll, we'll start seeing sprouts come out. Maybe, I, I'm, I'm assuming. we can get started on the next. We just need to be ready to stop at any time to weed and fertilize this field. I don't know. I guess we can always hire a... I don't want to hire a worker. We might have to, though. We, we just... We might have to. Okay, so that field is done. Um, I don't really... I mean, we've been going long enough now. I don't really want to get started on these other ones. We can go get the cedar filled up, though. And then we can see where we stand. Like I said, we're going to have to get that one fertilized. I, I know we're going to. We're going to get done with, with this one field and then all of a sudden we won't be able to do the other or we won't be able to fertilize or weed because it'll be close to harvest time all right we got these things topped off Park this next to the mower and uh, what do you think, fertilizer or weeder? You know what? Let's just haul them both up there. We're going to need them both up there anyway. <laughs> oh, we got to fill that guy. I'm thinking about adding a mod. I'm thinking about adding a silo to build this stuff up so I don't need to you know, buy the totes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Or do we just keep going like we're going? I mean, I suppose we can do either way. guy right here now we'll go get our we'll go get our sprayer because we're going to need that up here as well oh you know what we need to do where's my hang on where did I put my little shop I know it's around here somewhere Oh, there it is. Um, actually, I 
don't want that anyway. Don't really need that weight in the front. Here we go, the 7210 is now repaired. Not sure which one of these I'm going to need first. We should probably, though, run over to the store and get some more stuffs. I'm guessing. What do we need? We need to get like one, uh... We need like one pallet of everything, you think? I think a pallet of liquid fertilizer, a pallet of other fertilizer, um... Oop. So a pallet of liquid, a pallet of solid, <coughs> and a pallet of seeds. Am I going to be able to fit all that in a truck? Wow, I... Woo! I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all that. Let's see what we see. So we're going to get a seed bag. We're going to get solid fertilizer. And we're going to get... Nope, nope, nope. Herbicide, that's what we need. Almost, almost wasted some money there. So let's see what we can uh, fit now. I don't even know if I could fit this thing in the truck at all. Oh yeah, I should be able to. Maybe. Ooh. the only way it's going to fit. Now we'll have to take these guys and stack them up, I guess. I'm going to put the, the seed on top because I go through that quicker. Oh, by the way, good news. 
I don't think I caught this on uh, the video, but I got a message from the wife. She's found uh, an appropriate sound system. It's different than anything I've ever had. So I'm semi-skeptical, but I'm going to give it a shot. And I will... I, I'm going to say I will let you guys know what I think of it, but I'm probably going to forget. So remind me maybe a couple videos from now and ask me what I think of it. That way I can remember to, to let you know. I am definitely going to have to find a better way to haul these pallets instead of, look at this poor little truck look at this thing looks like a pre-runner for crying out loud alright here we go here goes nothing better turn the headlights on anyway guys I think that's where I'm going to end this video it's gone on long enough um, oh my god, I might not make it back to the farm. Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about every aspect of these videos. And anyone I do. It's, a, it's an open book. It's an open conversation. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks a million everyone.